this is Jenny from Homestead Corner and today I'm making just some simple DIY lip balm. We are pretty low. I got about half a tube left of my last batch of lip balm. So I'm going to make some more today. I don't have any more tubes. So today I'm going to be making them in these little um, 5 gram containers. You can use your finger to put them on. I like the pots and the tubes and I like all of them for different things and they all work. So we'll be using these five gram containers today. But you're just going to need some simple ingredients. I'm going to use some beeswax. I just have a chunk of beeswax from our bees and I just um, shredded it up with a grater. And, uh, or you can use the little teeny pellets as well, that works. Or you can use the whole chunks, but you're going to want to be able to measure out um, a certain amount. And uh, I'm going to use some shea butter and some coconut oil. And I'm going to add some, I like to add a little bit of essential oils to it. And these are some of my favorite essential oils for lip balm, lemon, orange, lavender and you can even go peppermint you can use whatever you like today I'm gonna to be using lavender because it's nice and healing my lips are so dry from this winter weather the wood stove is running constantly it's really cold and I just my lips get so dry so let's go ahead and get started this is really simple to make um, we're gonna do this I'm gonna use this glass bowl for a double boiler, we'll just put it on a pan of um, on a pan of hot water to melt it. And then I have got three tablespoons of beeswax measured out here, and we're just going to put all that right in. And then we're going to use three tablespoon, uh, two tablespoons of shea butter. And this is it's a little bit hard, but I just scoop it with my with my um, tablespoon thing. Try to get it in there. The shea butter is a little hard. It's a little smushy, but not super. It's kind of hard. So we're just gonna put. You want to make sure everything is super clean when you start this. I don't make giant amounts of this, so I don't add any of the preservatives. Um, and the most of the preservatives that last a really long time are chemical, and I don't like that. So, got our two tablespoons, and then we're going to add four tablespoons of coconut oil. You can use the fractionated coconut oil if you have that, and and you like that, but. I always have coconut oil because I cook with it right on hand. So, three and four. Okay, so we're just bringing this water up to a boil and then we're going to put our bowl of goodies right on top and the boiling water underneath will melt this all right down. We're just going to let it do its work. Okay, so this has been going for only about a minute or so, and it melts pretty fast. Just the chunky stuff takes a little bit longer, and the beeswax, but it's pretty quick. It just takes a few moments to get this done, and I just like to keep stirring it up and chopping the bigger pieces. It helps it, you know, warm up quicker and melt, so... We're just going to let this keep going and I will bring you back once, so once it's, it's done. nice and clear. It is all set and ready to go. So we're just going to turn this heat off and we're going to pull this off the burner. We want to get this off the heat completely. Okay, so once you remove this from the heat, uh, you want to make sure, don't leave it on the pot or anything because that water still heats it. You want to get it on a pot holder or I have a little towel here. But then you can add your essential oils because if it's too hot, it's just going to burn the oils off. So I let it sit for about a minute or two before I add my oils. But it will, if you wait too long, it will start to get hard again and you'll have to remelt it. So I'm going to add... 20 drops of this lavender essential oil. And 
And there we go. Ooh, that smells good. All right, so you can use uh, one of these little pipettes. Those are great, um, but I like to use these big, like, syringe type things. These are great also. You can get these at Tractor Supply or whatever. Um, just a syringe and don't put a needle on it, that's all. But they work perfectly for this and you can suck up a whole bunch in here. So, um, so I like to give it a little stir with the tip and make sure that oil is all around in there. I'm just going to move that back a little. And then we're going to suck that right up into here and we can put it in our jars and it really helps for so it's not so messy when you use something like this so you can fill them right up it's really easy to do I, when I first learned how to do this I was like why haven't, why haven't I been doing this forever this is simple so you just squeeze it out into your pots and that is that All right, so once you have all your pots full, you're just going to leave these to set for two to three hours. You want them to come completely down to room temperature so they're completely hard. And I will bring you back once they're done and show you how the texture. Okay, so these are all done. They've been sitting for about three hours and you can see they're nice and hard and they melt from the heat of your finger just enough so you can put it on you get just enough on your finger to put it on your lips and it's it's really moisturizing and it feels so soft and soothing and that lavender scent is wonderful I just really love these they're a nice small size easy to put in your purse and perfect for on the go to keep with you and for whenever you need them and that's it they're super easy to do fun to make and you know what's in it this way which is my favorite part about it if you need if you'd like to try this and you're interested in purchasing any of these products I'll put the links down in the description box below so you'll be able to find the products that I use in here if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.